What's up everybody, this is D from Brooklyn and today this video is dedicated to you guys that are starting out, the young people, the old people, the people that want to get into filming their tanks. These are five tips on the best ways to record your aquarium. From this moment on you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Welcome brother Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh! Bop! Something that is very, very often overlooked, but makes your life so much easier since many of us are shooting on cell phones and all of our portable devices are so much easier to use is the use of a tripod. Nowadays, tripods come in all shapes and sizes. They even have remote controls and have so much additional stability and function that it just allows your videos to come out so much more stabler and so much more consistent. You can maintain a line of focus. You can stabilize the lighting and it just turns your videos from this to this. Now this tripod I'm using is a floor model I have multiple portable ones if I want to take a trip. It folds up really nicely. It's easy to carry, easy to put in your bag, suitcase, and even comes with a little remote control. And it also allows me to adjust the line of sight depending on what I'm filming. Makes life so much easier. And most of them now you can easily adjust up and down with handles. You can adjust the footing. This tripod I got for 30 bucks. And as you can see, it adjusts very easily. And I have the adapter to hold your phone, which makes life just so much more simple. Easy to turn focus, easy to maintain stability, and easy to zoom in. Tip number two, get a clear frame of what you want to capture in your video. This is another reason why you want to have a tripod because a tripod will allow you to position the main topic, whether it be this thing here, the flipper, or a specific item within your tank and keep it in the specific frame throughout the continuation of your video. So once you establish what it is you want to film, keep it in perspective. Next tip and a not so obvious tip and one that is really, really, really overlooked and even I do it on a regular is cleaning the glass. Cleaning the glass will maintain that you don't get that crazy dull blur within your video and allows your viewers to get a clear picture of what it is that you're trying to focus on. I'm going to do mine right now. Now, one more tip. And it, it's really, really difficult depending on what type of tank you have. I know I'm focusing right now on a saltwater tank. And the reason why I'm doing that is because this tip concerns lighting. Lighting, that's right. Room lighting, windows, daylight, tank lights, all of the different lighting associated with maintaining your tank also makes it a little trickier when you're trying to video or film or, fo or photograph your tank. So for this reason, a tripod is definitely a really, really handy tool to have because you can not only compensate for things like this, like this window, which is creating a glare. I can turn the tripod and just angle it so that I easily get that glare out of the frame. I can also compensate for the tank lighting above. I can just adjust and eliminate the glare. And since it's on the tripod, all I have to do is adjust the legs. And, and that that glare, that evil lighting distraction will stay out of my main line of focus. And I can also zoom in and maintain a good, clear picture of the tank inhabitants. And by my last tip is the most important tip of all. So pay attention. And that is 
Just have fun. If you're not having fun doing what you're doing, then what are you doing it for? I know I love just taking pictures of my fish, and that's why I do it. So till next time, this is D. I'm going to go play with my fishes. Thank you.